I first heard about it through um, someone who had previously been doing it and told me that it would make things better. So I tried it and then kind of got addicted to it. I felt like that I didn't deserve any friends, that I was not a very nice person and I didn't believe anything that anyone said. I'd cut my skin on occasion, I'd pull my hair and rip it out. Um, I vaguely remember burning myself with things at one point or another. I didn't really tell anyone, didn't tell my family or friends, I just kind of kept it to myself for a long while. It's really temporary, it's, um, it'll come and you'll think, I really want to do this, I really want to hurt myself, but then once you do it, you'll realise, oh, what have I done? You'll regret it instantly. We're really lucky for the support that we get for children in need. We're able to deliver one-to-one -one support for numerous young people, both in our building and in schools. We're able to run support groups and recovery groups. Um, I think mostly we're just able to give young people someone to talk to um, and someone who just really cares about them. I've gotten to that point where I feel like I'm stronger and more able to cope with things. So I'm dealing, I can deal with maybe even twice the workload and stress load that I was under and still not crumble. I've, I feel like I've come back a lot stronger. I have stopped self-harming now for a couple of months. Get in there.